I want to thank the Senator of Iga for accepting to be informed. Senators, we should recall that a few days ago, we voted to remove Deputy President and tribalism was on the card. Mr. Speaker, a video has been doing rounds and the person depicted is the Senator of Washington Gishu, former Governor Mandago. And Mr. Speaker, in that video, it is recalling the role he played in removing Professor Airo. Mr. Speaker, sir, because of the seriousness of tribalism, we should call out the certain Senator of Washington Gishu. Mr. Speaker, I was in this house. I remember we moved a motion. And we call out Honorable I mean for Honorable me. Senators. Senator Boni, take your seat. Senator Boni, take your seat. Order, 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 honorable senators. Senator Fernandi, you cannot rise on a point of order against uh, a point of information. Now, now, honorable senators, allegations have been made, very serious allegations by the senator for Vihiga. He has requested for time to enable him substantiate. Senator Boni, that does not amount to information, the one you're passing. And um, I have not had the advantage of looking at the video, so you cannot even refer to it. So we will allow, we will allow Senator Sotsi to substantiate next week. What, if, you, if you look at the standing orders, it's very clear. We go by standing orders, Majority Leader. So let's leave it. Let's leave it there, Senator. So your time had run out. So we go to the majority leader. You may proceed to take your two minutes, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I wanted to speak about Mama Lucy, but now I've been distracted by the very unnecessary attacks on a colleague by none other than uh, Boni Halwale. Mr. Speaker, you cannot allow that to remain on record. Discussing a colleague. The provisions are clearly provided for in our standing orders, Mr. Speaker. If Senator Boni Halwale wanted to discuss the conduct of uh, Senator ja uh, Jackson Mandago, it is provided for in our standing orders. Why are you allowing, Mr. Speaker, this to be a marketplace where I can rise and begin to discuss anybody, including your conduct? My, Mr. Minority Speaker, that is not right. My, minority leader. That is not right, Mr. Speaker. Minority Leader, just take your seat. You will resume uh, your contribution. I directed because two allegations had been made. One, that the professor had been ejected from Moy University based on tribalism. And the second allegation was directed to the Senator, to the senator for Osin Gishu. And I directed Senator Osoti to substantiate, which he sought time. So the issue of Senator Mandago being brought in here, we will hear the substantiation when we resume next week. As far as what uh, uh, the information the Senator for Kakamega was trying to help Senator Osoti with, that does not amount to any information to be passed. Okay. And uh, to the extent that it was not information helpful to Honorable Senator Osoti, and to the extent that it touches on the conduct of one of the honorable senators in this house, then Senator Boni Kalwale, you need to retract that statement and allow Senator Osoti to come and substantiate on his allegations. Just retract and take your seat. No speeches. Mr. Pe Mr. Speaker, I can never retract that statement because it is a fact. Okay, then, uh, Senator Boni, you're out of order and I will ask you to leave the chamber yes. for the rest of today's sitting.
Okay, Majority Leader, you may proceed. Speaker, thank you for granting Senator Boni Alwale a chance to enjoy his favorite glass of Changa early in the day. Eh? Uh, Mr. Speaker, can I quickly now... Majority Leader, you are discussing the conduct of uh, Senator Boni. But, but, but he enjoys Changa, just, that is a just, fact. Just, just retract that statement. That is a fact. Order, Honorable Senator, order. Majority Leader, proceed to retract that statement. Mr. Speaker, I withdraw Changa and replace it with his favorite drink, which is known anyway. <laughs> Senator, Majority Leader, conclude. You have one minute to go. Mr. Speaker, quickly, now to more serious issues. Mr. Speaker, I want to add my voice to the issue of Mama Lucy Hospital that has been brought by Senator Hamida. Where Mama Lucy sits today, Mr. Speaker, is where I played football as a young boy, from the age of two up to the time I became an adult. The people being served in that particular hospital today are friends that I grew up with. If I was not a senator in this house, Mr. Speaker, perhaps that's where I'd be uh, uh, doing other uh, duties as what has been brought about by this senator. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I want to plead with the chairperson of the health committee to treat this matter with the urgency that is needed. If citizens of this republic are sharing four to five people one hospital bed, Mr. Speaker, then the intervention of the county and the national government, Mr. Speaker, is urgently needed to alleviate the suffering that is being faced by these citizens. I beg Senator Mandago and his team of the Health Committee to treat this matter with the urgency that it deserves. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Beatrice Ogolo. Honorable Speaker, I 